pretty cool. Um, my life is going pretty well, though. I have to say, uh, earlier this year, something pretty major happened for me. I became an uncle for the first time, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh, thank you so much. I had nothing to do with it, but cool. Um, I'll take the congratulations. Yeah, I became an uncle, and that's really cool. I'm really excited. Less cool. Uh, I have a very religious family, and there were many people in my family who were concerned about me being around the baby because I am gay. Um, I know, which is sort of ridiculous, because it's like nobody in my family has seen any of the guys that I've fucked, because I can do so much better than some fucking baby, OK? Like, <laughs> Come on, look at what I'm working with here, all right? That baby wishes, all right? My sister's baby should be so lucky at the end of the day. My family is very, very Christian. They're very evangelical uh, Southern Baptist Christians. They're so Christian that they homeschooled me until I was 16 years old because they did not want me learning about sex or evolution. And as like a fun fringe benefit of that, now I don't know about states either, uh, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Just never knowing where I am, you know? Uh, I recently, truthfully, had to ask a friend, what is Oklahoma? You know, because it seems sort of unclear. Yeah, so not a lot of practical knowledge going on up here in the old noggin, but uh, to sort of offset that, I am a nationally ranked Bible quizzer, which is pretty cool, that's a thing. Okay, got some uh, weirdos in the audience, too. That's great. Um, so I know a lot about that, but sort of on the flip side of that coin, I've never used a condom, you know? So it is a trade-off uh, in the sort of knowledge you learn. Most of my family is from the South, actually. Um, yeah, I love the South. They're great, they're great. Uh, my mom is a real Southern lady. She's one of these ladies who thinks that our generation, well, we got too many participation trophies and that's why we are the way we are, you know? <laughs> Gay, that's what she... <laughs> pins that on. But uh, uh, weirdly, my mom is also one of these people who's like, oh, no, no. You cannot take that Robert E. Lee statue down from my college campus, no, ma'am. And it's like, but mom, like, those statues are history's greatest participation trophies, you know? Like, <laughs> y'all lost, all right? We let you erect a statue. So think about that. OK. I was, actually, um, I was actually adopted, hence why my mom sounds like Foghorn Leghorn. Uh, I know some of you were confused. Um, you're like, something does not fit. Um, yeah, I was adopted from South Korea. South Korea, for those of you, you might know this, uh, it was the only country in the 80s that would fly a baby to the US. You did not have to go and pick it up. So in many ways, it was like the grub hub of babies. You know, they would just <laughs> fly a baby straight to your door. No hassles, no fees, it was great. But um, yeah, so it was an interesting thing for me growing up with this face in an all white family in an all white town. Like I fully knew I was gay before I knew I was Asian. Um, <laughs> that's a sad but true fact about me. It was a, quite the rude awakening when I finally found out, I have to tell you. It was tough, but it's even tougher for me now because like, I don't meet a lot of like cultural expectations of what an Asian person should be in this country, you know? Like I'm terrible at math. I don't know karate. <laughs> My dick is huge, you know? So it's just like on and on and on. Like, oh, God. Just constantly disappointing white people, you know? Uh, it's tough. I actually don't know if it's that big or not. Because um, every time I look at it, it's pixelated. So <laughs> sort of anybody's guess at that point. OK. So if you didn't laugh at that joke, be glad, OK? That means you're pure of heart and mind. Uh, the rest of you, shame. <laughs> shame. We'll come back to that. I am a terrible driver, though, so that might be genetic. Um, I've totaled three cars. But actually, you guys, I think that has more to do with being gay and sleeping with men than it does have to do with being Asian. And anybody who sleeps with men in here, you might be able to back me up on this. Something about being lied to my entire sexual life about what six inches looks like, now my depth perception is fucked, you know? Like, I can't. <laughs> Parallel park, bumper to bumper traffic is a disaster for me. How big is this microphone? 18 inches? I don't know, you know? I just have so many sample sizes to choose from. It's really tough. So obviously, as uh, Christian as my parents are, they did not take it super well when I came out of the closet, mostly because I did not come out of the closet. They read my journal when I was 17. Um, yes, gasp is right. Um, 
It was rough because at that point in my life, my journal was less of like an introspective thoughts and dreams journal and more of just a BuzzFeed list of guys' dicks I was sucking, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> no content to sift through, just straight to the headlines. It was clickbait for my parents. Uh, they couldn't resist, they had to see it. Um, it was tough for them. But what's even funnier, so I, I mentioned I was adopted. I have two adopted siblings. They're biological to my mom and dad. And I have an older brother, and a couple of years ago, he also came out of the closet, which is like, Wah. you know, like, <laughs> I couldn't have planned a better prank, you know, like that. <laughs> oh, you punked him good, Jesus. I uh, can't. Oh, it's so funny. It's so delicious to me because my parents, they really, like, they truly rolled the dice there, you know, like they made one themselves, they got one off the rack, and they both turned out gay, you know, like. <laughs> I don't know what the scientific argument is there, but that feels like nurture, bitch, okay? <laughs> that feels like your fault. What was going on there? Bet you wish you didn't vaccinate us now, mom and dad, huh? Do you want two sons without polio or two straight sons? You can't have it all, all right? You gotta give some stuff up. Now again, I am just joking. I love vaccines, okay? <laughs> can't get enough. Uh, every time a new one comes out, I'm just like, rah, 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 you know? Uh, I just love it. My poor dad, oh goodness, uh, he's been through the ringer. It was really hard for him. My dad is sort of like an amateur pastor in a lot of ways. Like we didn't go to a church growing up. We had church at home led by my dad. And oh my God, yes, now that I'm saying it, I was in a cult, that's what that is. Um, <laughs> it's not a church at all. Um, but yeah, he had a real rough time with me growing up. I was a real shit kid. Uh, it was difficult to raise. I remember when I was 13, we had a fight that was so outrageous that my dad tried to exercise me in the middle of the fight. <laughs> and when I realized what he was doing, I just started to laugh maniacally in his face, which in hindsight did not help my case, you know? <laughs> like, that seems like something a demon might do in that situation. <laughs> I might as well have just crab walked across the living room floor, spinning my head around, spewing puke everywhere, you know? Like, 